Well, my class verse is, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven, Matthew 5, 16. And we do it to a little chant, um, but that's why, because I want my kids to see Jesus in me. I want them to get a glimpse of who he is as I shine my light and as I ask the Holy Spirit to fill me every single day to do what I do, um, that they would see a glimpse of him and not me and not what I'm doing or um, that sort of thing, and that that would cause them to want to know him too. That is, in my opinion, very crucial, that we first begin with Christ. Um, as we know in the book of Genesis, you know, we, we get the first picture of a teacher and a student when we see God commanding Adam and Eve to cultivate. I mean, they, they, had, they were just created. They didn't know what creation was or what everything was around them, so they had to be taught. The reason I bring my children here is because I know they're cherished. My children are not just tolerated here, they are cherished as part of a mission focus for each teacher, each coach, each administrator, each janitor, each security officer, each administrative person up here on the top of the hill. Uh, the focus is we're all part of the ministry and it's we can truly say it's a calling. It is a calling to do something like this. And the biblical worldview that our curriculum is founded on doesn't clash with what my kids are being taught at home. And so we can send our kids here knowing that the school is partnering with us as parents as we raise and educate and disciple our children. Today, I can't imagine what it's like to be a 12-year-old in 2024 with a cell phone and all the things that are available. So as they learn about Christ in kindergarten, really, they know things of the world are out there, but they're learning truth from the very beginning. The middle schoolers aren't caught up in the drugs and all those things. They're high, but they're high on Jesus. And they're, they're building a nice, strong foundation so that when they're 18 years old and they go to, whether they go to Harvard or they go to Old, old Roberts University, they're solid in the Lord and they know how to both be a light and also how to share the light. Especially in the Christian realm, and we get a lot of, um, a lot of support here at CSCS for our fine arts because it is something that they can use for lifelong service in their churches, when they get out to college, in their youth groups there, whatever they're doing um, with any of the collegiate level groups. But music is something that God gave us from the very beginning. And it's something, you know, our voice is the natural instrument and then all the different instruments we can learn to play. And so it's not just an add-on, it's something that we do that helps us express our emotion and our love for each other and our love for God. And so, yeah, I think it's definitely a very vital part of a person's overall education. And even like bigger push to be a teacher was from teachers here. At CSCS, my music teacher, Mrs. Flanagan, she teaches choir. It was my first time doing choir and she just was really, really amazing. And I was like, whoa, yeah, I could do this. I see the way that she loves on the students and just pours into them and shows Jesus' heart to them. And I was like, wow, that's really cool and I want to do that. And so the teachers there and then also like Bible teachers or science and math teachers like Miss Bruce or Commander Thompson, they've just been amazing and shown how much teachers influence students. Uh, I am in fine arts. I'm in the audition choir witness, which is so special. It has been one of the most um, important things to me throughout high school that I've gotten to do. Uh, it's called witness because the idea is like, yes, we are singing, um, but the, I, the purpose behind the singing is to glorify God with our voice, with what he's given us. And so athletics, we have so many different opportunities, girls, men's and women's volleyball, uh, men's football, and then this year we just started women's flag football, um, golf, soccer, um, so many, so many different opportunities uh, to participate in athletics, and I know that that has been a huge part for many of my friends in finding community. And so, yes, the curriculum is important, yes, our plans and our things are important, but are we living authentic, joyful lives in front of the kids? And, and are we showing them how beautiful Christianity can be? Like, it's this exciting, passionate love relationship. And it's an adventure. It's a crazy adventure. And are we presenting it to them in a way that's authentic, but also, like, inviting?